<laughs> Here we are plugging. Yeah, they're, they're posing for a photo shoot. Yeah. Plug and talk because we have the associate editor of Talk Magazine right here in our living room with us, Mr. Tony Tan. Yeah, and it's good that we were showing this magazine because we can go to, to our comments and mm -hmm. see what uh, Hello Bunny has to say. That's right. And Hello Bunny says, Talking about F1 Singapore, is Razor TV uh, interviewing any of the F1 racers? Well, to, to that question, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. we, uh, Razor TV actually sat down with a couple of uh, uh, F1 racers and, we, and it's in a show following this show and it's a uh, front seat. And yep. you'll see like Lewis Hamilton... Uh, Other Sebastian drivers Bode. and all that, yep. yeah. Yeah, and well, Hello Bunny, Hello Bunny goes on to say, Anyway, I love talk. Looking at the cars in the magazine is like having those cars. Ooh, a bit yeah. of vicarious, you know, yeah. living. Very vicarious. Uh, it is. Voyeuristic. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, that's why people, you know, love beautiful photographs and, you know, it's 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 a lot of, about good photography and cars. Mm. Got to plug, lah. Yeah, you got you to plug, lah. Yes. No, you got to plug because um, the team put in a lot of effort into this. It's actually a revamped issue. And uh, not only do we have new car reviews, you like modified cars? You want modified cars? Yes, I love yeah, modified cars. Cars. Modified cars. I do not modify my car. I drove this beauty. Oh, you drove it? Yep. Wow. You drove it in Malaysia because in Singapore, the car would be absolutely illegal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's a Gambala. It's actually faster in some portions than an F1 car. Are you serious? I kid you not. I kid you not. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. because this car has 650 horsepower, 1,000 newton meters. Uh, it goes from 0 to 100 in about 3.3 seconds, mm -hmm. which is about a second slower than an F1 car. You see, misconception. F1 cars are not aerodynamic. They are not. They just look aerodynamic. They, they don't even look aerodynamic. Well, they look, yes, you're right, they look aerodynamic, but uh, at high speeds, right, it's almost like an elephant is sitting on the back. That's the amount of force. Oh. Down force. Okay, okay. You know, because I get it. that's why sometimes when you see the cars driving, when they get in an accident, right, and the guy tries to drive back, you say, is he, is he drunk? Is he, has he got a headache? Why is he going out of the place? Yeah. Because his stability is gone. Mm. So, like, every portion is, is extremely important. Precision. Mm. Precisely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, well uh, we know that all these F1 drivers are right in town, and they're going to be prepared for all that stuff you're just talking about, that G-force and all that. But there are other stuff that they have to cope with, like jet lag, mm. the difference in climate and all that. Well, Razor TV and Tony, well, he spoke to Williams' Nico Rosberg. So let's see how Nico is coping. Hey, have you spotted the F1 driver in the crowd? Yep, that's Williams racer Nico Rosberg meeting his supporters at Millennium Walk. Let's get the German racer to tell us how he's geared himself up in the lead-up to the first Formula 1 night race in Singapore. I'm sure all race drivers, including yourself, have, you have a certain routine that you follow before a race, before qualifying, before practice. But I suppose for Singapore being the first time here, you can't possibly have a routine. So what, what is your routine running into tomorrow, Thursday? No, no, it's still the, still the same routine. Uh, the timetable is exactly the same, just that um, in terms of Singapore, everything is very late. So, for example, now I've arrived, and I'm going to try and stay up very, very late. So yesterday I stayed up till 4 o'clock in the night to then wake up, but I woke up half an hour before coming here, which was... Sorry, 4 o'clock in the morning. You stay up, You look very fresh for someone that slept at 4 a.m. But I slept until 1.15, ah, okay. which was 15 minutes before I came here. <laughs> Explain. The okay. race is at 10 o'clock in the evening. Correct. Yeah, or 8 o'clock or whatever. And then after that, we have meetings and press and everything. So I get home every morning at 3, 4 o'clock. Yeah? So what I'm trying to do is I keep my rhythm so that I'm used to that. Get it going to bed at 4 o'clock. So that's what I'm trying to do the whole week. And that's my preparation. Otherwise, in terms of simulator, uh, it's a new track. So I ran the, the track in the computer. Okay. And I've been practicing quite a lot. To, to learn the track, and uh, it seems really really good fun on the computer. It seems quite amazing. So that's that's something we did, and otherwise all the all the routines are all the same really. Sure. Okay. You drove in Valencia. How does that compare to Singapore? Um, I think it's completely different because Valencia was a track that they purposely made for a, a race. They they put the asphalt. They made the design. Whereas Valencia is a real street circuit. So I think it's quite different. Street circuits or purpose-built circuits? Do you have a preference? I like uh, street circuits, but it, both are fun. Okay. Reason being? It's more challenging, more difficult, more challenging, uh, more exciting, so it's good. Okay, our street circuit is a bit unique, as you said, it is a night race, but it's lit up almost like as, though as if it's daytime. 
um, anything that you foresee that would be something that you have to get used to besides the night race I and mean, besides all the routines and stuff? Anything else that you are that you have, or maybe it's a secret? I'm not sure whether whether you want to share with us. Um, I'm not sure really. You just have to get used to the track and also the the lights. Yeah, I was walking around yesterday and the lights are quite glaring in the eyes. So it's going to be something very new to to get used to that situation when you're going 320 kilometers per hour with those lights. That's going to be different. Yeah. Well, before we get a chance to see Nico's performance in our very own street circuit, let's see how he fares on the simulator. You may think that no Singaporeans can race ahead of the F1 driver, but a good number of them are actually on par with Nicole. Well, at least on the simulator. So I am standing here with Dixon, right? Yeah. Who actually competed against Nico Rosberg, almost like on the track. Almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah, kind of. And you were competing in the simulator. Now, how did you actually get into this contest in the first place? Uh, last week, there was this contest by a magazine called Talk. Yeah, so I won, somehow won it. What, what, what do you have to win? Uh, just get first place on this. Oh, so you actually had to compete against compete, other people? Uh, compete around like 10 people or more. And now, uh, when you first won, right, what was your timing? 1.29. Wow. What was your timing today? 1.23. So you managed to shave off. What was Nico yeah. Rosberg's timing? 1.12. So that's not that much difference. There is. Why? There's a gap between our... That's only yeah. about 12 seconds, right? Yeah, somehow. Ah, what did you win today? I don't know. I think binoculars of some sort. Binoculars? Yeah, by Oris. Oh, by Oris? Yep. You know why? I don't know. Because all of us will be very far away from the track, so we need binoculars to see it. And finally, it was seasoned contestant Alvin Cole who walked away with the champion title. Yeah. You can... Oh. No, yeah, you can, you gotta, oh, but these this are gamers. Lounge, you know? Yeah, yeah that's we can just talk now. We're just talking about Elvin lah, you know. Yeah, Elvin, yeah. this thing is like, uh, what they say in Hokkien, is Tan Gamer! I mean, he's, a, he, he's a gamer, but he's really good. Uh, what's amazing was, after he finishes, because Nico went first, then Elvin went later, and Nico's expression was like, because Nico met him, being of this year, and last year as well, and said, this guy is like, getting faster and faster and faster, <laughs> you know, and... Um, Do you reckon the simulator is like, so different from... The real thing. There are, I've tried many different simulators, but the ones that you get now, there's no way you can buy them off the shelf from oh, yeah. any... No, you can't. Those are really quite different. Not, they they have like a lot of force feedback and stuff like that. Yeah, right? but this one doesn't have. This one has just a very slight bit, you know what I mean? But uh, its sensitivity, everything is really quite amazing. They're getting very close to what it is. Uh, okay. You know? So even if Alvin wins it, there's no chance he's going to be like an F1 driver. Lah. <laughs> That's uh, apples <laughs> oranges. <laughs> There's no G force. So there's the durians. And, yeah. And, yeah, it's really very different. A lot of other factors involved. The, the, it's, yeah, the oh, fitness yeah. is one thing. Okay, I mean they are mm -hmm. so fit. It's just amazing. Yeah, well, fit everyone drivers. Uh, well, they have to contend with the fact that they're in Singapore and it's going to be the first ever street night race in the history of F1. So keep your eyes peeled over this weekend because we're we'll all Tony be watching for coming, it. Yeah, and Tony. Enjoy being here. Thanks. Yeah, for casting some light, some glaring light. light. Oh, <laughs> oh I, I like, I like that. I like that. You, like, oh. you like my light too. I like it. Okay. 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 Some glaring light on the F1 in Singapore. So we'll see you. Thanks for watching Razor Active. Have fun this weekend. Yeah, you.